your place uh, for you just having losses uh, consecutively uh, like this but wondered can it be cumulative in a locker room especially if some of them are tight like this one the Clippers game and some other games and how do you guys fight against that it all, it all depends how we respond obviously we had the Clipper loss then we responded to the way we played against the Pelicans so you know obviously this game is over and done with we had a chance we had our chances we played good basketball defended well uh, versus one of the best uh, offensive teams especially in like the last 10 to 12 games, they've been, um, you know, exceptional. And um, But it all depends how we respond. Just wondering, when you're playing more of your minutes at the five again, is is the load any different defensively or the ass? I know it's a different requirements, but how, how does that play out compared to what you have to do on offense? Uh, I mean, listen, I mean, at the end of the day, I got to make plays to help us win basketball games. And just trying to do that throughout the course of this game tonight. Some of them I was able to get us back into the game. Some of them I, I you know, wasn't good basketball, so just try to be better. LeBron, we saw Russ sit up here post game, look at the stat sheet, clearly upset with how he played. Said that you know he's got to be better. Um, I'm I'm curious for you as, as a leader on this team, what are the steps that you can take, or, or different steps that you can take over this next stretch to try to get him. A little bit in rhythm because it feels like if he's not, it's going to be really tough. Um, <clears throat> I mean, for me, just try to give him, you know, when he's off the ball and I have the ball, try to get him some good looks at the rim, which I was able to do tonight. I was able to hit him one off of offensive rebound, hit him for a, a layup underneath, and then they doubled off of him. I was able to hit him uh, for a cut. He was able to get a dunk down the, down the rim. Uh, down the lane, I'm sorry. Um, in transition, if I'm handling the ball and he's running up ahead, just try to kick ahead. But um, those are some. Sometimes when you just see the ball going through the hoop, it just it helps, you know. So that's you know part of my uh, responsibility. To, to follow, do you see him beating himself up the way that we kind of see it? Man, uh, during the game, mm-hmm. I mean, there's so much going on during the game. Trying to win a basketball game, trying to make plays. Um, I know there's opportunity for him to take shots and. Passes up, passes them up because uh, he feel like maybe he's not in good rhythm. But other than that, as far as beating yourself up, I mean, um, we don't see it much. It, uh, LeBron, there was a video that got out there from the last game Sunday. Um, View and Trevor and Russ kind of get into it with some fans who are sitting close, wondering, you know, were, were you feeling a lot of frustration based off of the reception last game? And, and to, as a follow up, um, you know, did what, did it feel good in the third quarter, especially when the fans were kind of on your side to, to feel that again? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, if you follow my career, I will get into it with a fan. So that wasn't nothing out of the ordinary for me. Um, no matter if it's a home crowd or, or, or a crowd, um, that's not. Uh, or so, you know, someone um, on the opposing side. Sometimes, I, I mean, if you're cheering or booing, it's so fine, but this guy was literally trying to tell me how to play basketball. So that's why you got the response you see me respond to. So, I mean, I'm, that was all that was. Can't tell me how to play basketball. Not him. <laughs> Not that guy. <laughs> so that was my response. Did, but it did just feel good a little bit in that second half, especially to have the, the fans at your back again and, and kind of anticipating. Listen, I ride or die with the Laker faithful. So they boo, I'm with them. They scream on with him. I don't. Stuff don't bother me, man. I'm, I'm 20 years into this league, man. I don't care about a boo here, a boo there, cheer. I mean, I'm with whatever they want to do. Let's do it. We all together. Yeah, being 20 years in, I'm sure moral victories aren't something that you really do anything for no. you. Also, but the, no. the fact that no. Well, let me finish. No, no, I don't really. No, no. You can't start a question off Please. with me talking about a moral victory. Well, that's why I'm not. It's an you want a different question? It's an entryway. Okay. So how about that? Right. How about you have guys like Stanley Johnson starts off four for four, <laughs> being in the starting lineup, hits a three, a part of the rally. You have, um, you know, hustle plays between you and Russ to tap out rebound. You you pass it back out to him. You know, like the little things, where the things where you you say like this can feel better well, than, than it has. Well, I mean, the little things is what help you win basketball games. And obviously, you got to make plays down the stretch. But the little things throughout the course of 48 minutes is will put you in position to win basketball games. So to see Stanley make those big time shots, because a lot of teams just dare him to shoot. Um, they clog the paint off him. They guard him with a lot of opposing five 
uh, five men. Um, so to see him make those plays, that was big time. Uh, to see us get scrappy, you know, we took a couple charges. We, you know, got some tip outs, you know. That's what got us back into the game. And obviously, you know, fourth quarter, we didn't score enough points. Uh, we played great defense. They scored 24. We only had 17. So, um, but, you know, it was great effort on our part. LeBron, last year you um, expressed, um, you, you shared that you didn't love the, the play-in format. And, and this year it seems like it's given you guys some sort of a kind of cushion to sort of absorb the injuries and some of the struggles you've had along the way. But right now, kind of on the edge. I'm wondering what kind of motivation is that to you guys to be make sure you're in those ten? Like, is that is that an, enough for, to, to motivate this group down the stretch? Uh, we win games to get us in. Um, we're gonna prepare. We'll be ready. But I mean, we got to try to win a ba one basketball game right now. You know, that's what we we're really really trying to how we can figure out to get over the hump and with injuries and you know, I mean, we we played nine guys, but it really was eight. Um, I think Dwight played four minutes. Bays gave us some great minutes. His 17 minutes was great. Um, but we really only played seven guys. So, you know, we're just trying to figure out a way how we can get over the hump. We played some good basketball today, like I said, for about, um, you know, well, the whole third quarter was great. Uh, we didn't play you know, to our abilities in the second, giving up 41. But overall, I thought we played a good game. We just couldn't get over the hump. But as far as the playing, I mean, can't even really think about that right now. Just got to figure out how you can get a dub. LeBron, uh, you guys just scored four points down the, f the, the final 7-23. What, what did you see down the, the stretch of just the offensive execution? We missed shots. I mean, pretty much we missed shots. Melo had a wide open uh, three from the right wing. Leak had two missed layups. Um, you know, I had a, a step back. Uh, miss uh, jumper from the right wing, where I, I mean, right elbow, where I had just made one before. We literally miss shots. I mean, I mean, you can execute, you can run the best play of all time, but you still, you still got to make the ball. The ball got to go 